Yo, so today I'm going to be breaking down this dark ambient and kind of synthy melody for someone like Nev, and then throwing some drums on it at the end. Pineapple. So before we start off this video, it's sponsored by the Nico MIDI Chord Pack. The pack contains thousands of MIDI files from chords to melodies, stretching all different genres, and also in all 12 musical keys. It's been used by over 50,000 artists, producers, and songwriters from beginners all the way up to people that have been Grammy nominated. Right now it's 70% off, so it comes out to $27. So if you're interested in a big old pack of chords and melodies, uh, definitely go check it out. I'll leave the link in the top of the description. All right, so to start off this melody, I used this melodic sequence from Analog Labs called Exodar. It's kind of like a bell arp. Overall, it's just a really good preset and it sounded really nice. And then here's the MIDI for it. Overall, it does look pretty complex, but it did start off from the chord pack. So I'll show you how I made it here in a second. So I started off by going into the chord pack into the C major, A minor section, then into into dark hip hop and trap chords and then grab this one that's four down then i went through and listened to them with alt and right click just to kind of pick out the chords that i wanted to use and manipulate so right away i heard that the second and the fourth one were just a little bit too melodic for the style of melody i wanted to do so i went ahead and just stuck with the third and the first chord and then just brought the third one over here for the second half of it then i went ahead and just created a basic rhythm with this chord doing something like this and I'm also in third step and then I went ahead and added some little like triplet uh, pulsing chords I guess you would call them so just something like this and then selecting that chord holding alt and then dragging the velocity down with the scroll wheel after I had this basic thing I went ahead and grabbed this C and then just kind of made a little arpeggio I guess just a little repeating pattern uh, trying to stick to notes next to each other in the scale of course just to give it that dark feeling and went ahead and did something like this and then just repeated that over and then added a note here so it transitions into the little like pulsing chords a little bit better and then also went ahead and added some transition notes here as well and then final thing just a little top line i added some more triplets of course up here sticking again to the notes next to each other in the scale and then just going down here and then connecting to uh, that little high note and then after i had that i went ahead and duplicated it over and just added some little rolls to spice it up here in this little second half so i just went ahead and did something like that again using the scroll reel and alt to adjust the velocities So yeah, that's pretty much how I came up with it and then just kind of repeated that process again in the second half and then it ended up looking like this. So you can see it's basically the same notes using that again, that C and B that are next to each other, just kind of copying everything over and making small adjustments uh, just to make it fit those other chords. Really when I use these MIDI chord packs, I like to kind of add my own things to it. So I'm still like learning how to progress my melodies and make them better but also just having that little burst of inspiration at the beginning, not having to figure out my own chords, which is really sometimes an annoying task. Then after I made that mini, I went ahead and threw some effects on it. So I went ahead and did this EQ to kind of cut the highs because there was some weird white noise and then boost like the high mids and then another EQ to cut the lows and then completely get rid of that white noise. And then finally pancake on the bigger preset with the mix turned down to 61, just so it's not that overbearing. So after all those effects, it sounds like this. And then for the next sound, again, I went back into Analog Labs and grabbed this 7AM uh, string sound. This is a great sound and it just added so much to the melody. But then for the MIDI, I went ahead and just copied that same MIDI over, but removed all of the triplets and then did Control L to stretch everything to each other. So overall, another really simple melody. And then I went ahead and added some effects. So I went ahead and put Magic Switch, Finisher Micro, just to add a little bit of texture. And then again, that same EQ to kind of cut out a little bit of white noise and then also get rid of the lows. And then finally an imager just to make it feel nice and wide. Then I went ahead and rendered it out, of course, because I don't have the full version of Analog Labs. 
and then reversed it. So I just reversed the chord order, so it's the same chord progression, but it still sounds reversed. So here's what it sounds like. All right, so those two sounds are pretty much like the entire base of the melody. So here's what it sounds like together. And then I also forgot to mention, but I did add some additional effects to the strings. I just added a little bit of reverb because there was some slight gaps in it that I just kind of wanted to fill up with a reverby sound. And then another EQ trying to cut out some white noise and clicks, and then also the low end. And then of course, another imager to get it to feel nice and wide. And then for the next sound, one of my favorite presets from Analog Labs, I've used some videos before, but it's the Acoustic Drops Evolving Keys preset. It's like a mallet arp kind of thing. Overall just sounds really cool and there's like some little reverse bites in it. And then here's the MIDI for it. So it just copies the bass line of the previous MIDIs, uh, just repeating it. And then copies all of the little transition triplet notes that I added in the first melody. Uh, so it kind of gets rid of the chords and makes it just kind of an accent sound almost. But then I went ahead and threw that into the mixer before I rendered it out. Added halftime on four bars, which is like kind of a weird thing, but it sounded cool. And then I went ahead and also added the old telephone EQ just to kind of make it sound filtered out. Overall, it's just a pretty nice accent sound, and here's what it sounds like. So it's just kind of like a nice accent high-end melody. Then for the next sound, I went ahead and added this NASA Kyoto, I think it's pronounced. Uh, it's from the Exotic Volume 2 or 3 kit. Both really good kits. Recommend you guys check them out. But again, a very simple MIDI. Just copies the bass line. Just repeating again. Uh, not as fast as the mallets, but still repeating. And then just goes up to E for the second chord. So here's what this sounds like. So yeah, just a very simple MIDI, but it gets the job done and sounds pretty good. A lot of the melodies from here on out are very simple, but when you put them all together, it sounds really full and interesting because they all kind of bounce off of each other. Then for the next sound, I went ahead back into one of the exotic one-shot kits and grabbed the tape flute. It's kind of like really breathy and airy. Overall, just a good sound. And then I went ahead and just copied some random notes that sounded good, just going down the scale and then kind of building back up. There's really no set method to get like these kind of melodies sounding good. It's just really a lot of trial and error for me. So here's what it sounds like. Like I mentioned before, another very simple melody. And then all I have on the mixer for that is just reverb. All right, and then the next sound, of course, again, back to the exotic one-shot kits, is the white noise bell. Uh, just a pretty interesting bell. And I did with the MIDI what I've done before, which is just kind of layer it with the clap. So normally I would just do it every clap, so it looks something like that. But with the effects I added, I kind of wanted it to be sparse. So I went ahead and deleted the second and the fourth clap. And then here on the last one, I just put it down so it's a little bit more interesting and it's just, just the same note over and over and over again. So here's what this sounds like. And then for the effects on that, I have Valhalla Frequency Echo. So what I did is turned up the feedback up a little bit, I believe up like 10%. I think it's originally on 50%. Turn the shift down negative 1.7 hertz and then put the delay up 9 milliseconds. 
that's how you get that kind of downward frequency sweep in it. And I just thought it sounded really cool. And then I also threw some reverb on it with the decay and the wet slider turned up. All right. And then for the final sound, besides the basses, I went and grabbed this witch's pluck from the neon pop sound kit. And for the MIDI, it just copies the transition notes that are inside of the chord after like the triplet, the two like triplet chords here. Again, with this, I added like a delay. I added super massive on it. So it's really like overbearing if you do too many notes. So I wanted to keep it sparse and that's why I didn't copy any top line notes from this first section or this third section. So here's what it sounds like. And then for the effects on that, like I mentioned before, Valhalla Supermassive on the carousel preset. It's my favorite preset in here. It's just so good like that little sparkle delay that you get just spices up the melody so much makes it sound so good and then i went ahead and just threw this eq on it so you don't get the super super high end like ringing noises all right so these next two sounds kind of combine to make the bass pattern this first one really isn't a bass but it's a guitar from a travis scott inspired one shot kit it's the woe guitar and overall it's just really like thinthy and it just sounds really cool and i think i saw spaceman do something similar to this that's kind of where I learned it from, but he copied the bass notes with a guitar and a kind of similar melody, and I've been doing it ever since, and it just sounds so good. Like I mentioned before, copies the bass notes and then does slide notes that just kind of go up to a note that sounded good. There's really no specific, like, I wanted it to be at D, uh, but then it goes down to E to match the second chord, and then up to A, like I mentioned before. No really rhyme or reason for that. Uh, it just sounds good like that. So here's what it sounds like. And then for the effects on that, I just have an EQ that kind of fades out the lows so it isn't too like clashing with the bass, but they like mix well together. It's hard to explain, but it kind of makes sense. And then for the bass sound in this, I again went into the Neon Pop sound kit and grabbed my favorite bass as of recently. It's the Mike Dean bass. And again, just really synthy and aggressive and copies the bass notes. So there's really not much explaining to do. So here's what it sounds like. And then earlier in the video, I forgot to mention it, but on the off time mallets, I added delay, reverb, magic switch, and then an EQ that just cuts the lows. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. The only other things I added were a vinyl crackle from a lo-fi drum kit and then rendered it out. I didn't pitch it or anything. I just went ahead and routed it to a random thing on the mixer and then added isotope vinyl, turned the warp depth and the wear up just a little bit to make it a little bit more interesting and then put the year on 1970. Then I also added a gross beat on a two beat gate that's turned down very, very low here on the mix knob. And it just kind of makes the sample kind of barely pulse almost. It's weird, but it adds a little bit of movement to it. So yeah, that's it for the melody. And then here's what everything sounds like all together. So yeah, I think it's a pretty solid melody. I haven't really made melodies in like a month or a video in a month. So I think it's a pretty good start for getting back into it. But now we can get started on the drums.
yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I am pretty rusty, but I think that turned out uh, quite all right for first beat in a while. But yeah, if you're looking for some chords, links in the description. You can go grab the pack, 70% off. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, have a great rest of your evening. Bye.